Welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Tonight we have the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions traveling to take on the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Both of these squads are 1-0 on the season. Pine Bluff, they do have some good talent. They got a really good recruiting class in the offseason. And you can see their 80 overall quarterback slaughter. He's pretty good. Their freshman left end is suspended for two ball games. So we won't be seeing him. But they do have a couple other decent uh, defense events as well. It's pretty good secondary. Uh, this team is definitely on the rise. And we're going to see how much of a test they're going to be here today against the Thunderbirds in Cedar City, Utah. And there are the top players. Southern Utah ranked 35th in the country right now, trying to get in the top 25. And here they are on offense. Nicholas Hall in at quarterback first. And Matthews is dropped for a huge loss. And that's a loss of five. That'll make it. <laughs> He's only got 12 rushing yards on the season. That is bad. Gregory takes off up the middle. Nice block. And he's got the first down up to midfield. But there is a holding penalty. So they're going to call that back. That'll make it second down and 25. Hall back in at quarterback. Options to the right side. He's got a lot of speed and space. Jukes the man out inside the 45-yard line of Arkansas Pine Bluff. And the Thunderbirds are on the move, folks. Gregory back in at quarterback. They go a two-quarterback system here at Southern Utah. And there's a great throw to Crosby, but he fumbles the football. Matthews can't get there, and Hatchell recovers it for the Golden Lions. So a big turnover here on Southern Utah's first drive. And here are the Golden Lions. Get enough to Mayo. Still going hurdles. The defender gets up past the 40-yard line. Great run for the halfback. They're down at 10. Slaughter. Left side, wide open, but it's dropped. He might have had the first down right there if he held on to it. And it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway because there's a holding call right there. Thunderbirds back on offense, second down and 12. Brandon Lee right up the gut. The big fullback still going in the open field down at the 40-yard line. Nice 20-plus yard run to start things off for him. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the season. He came into the game with 116 with two scores. Gregory to throw. He's rolling out right. Wide open is McCutcheon. And he is all the way down to the 30-yard line of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Huge throw from Owen Gregory, the sophomore quarterback. Hall in at quarterback now. Deep shot to the end zone. It's caught by Foster. And the Thunder is so loud. Touchdown Thunderbirds. 7-0 there on top here at home. Jackson toss play right side. And Logan Tyler makes a big stop. But... He took him down by the face mask. That'll be a first down here for Arkansas Pine Bluff at the 33-yard line. Slaughter pressured. He's sacked. Defensive lineman coming through on block. Third down and 11 now. Slaughter to throw over the middle and almost picked off by Logan Tyler. That would have been his first of his career. At the end of the first quarter, it is 7-0. Southern Utah on top of Arkansas Pine Bluff. And here is Hagan, the freshman. On the part turn, going up the left sideline, spins a man out of his shoes, he's still going, past the 40, past the 20, and he is all the way for the touchdown. Thunderbirds now with a two-score lead over the Golden Lions. What a huge play, very exciting play on special teams. And here is Mayo getting a nice carry, picks up nine yards for Arkansas Pine Bluff, second down in inches. Slaughter hands off to Jackson, the backup, and he's gonna fumble the football, it's recovered by Emmanuel Wise. And that is the three-star freshman three safety getting his first career fumble recovery. And that is a huge turnover for the Golden Lions. Southern Utah now with a chance to take a three-score lead here at home. The crowd is behind their squad right now. And Gregory's back in at quarterback, but he's gonna be sacked. Offensive line collapsed. And that'll bring up third down and 17. Gregory trying to throw again. Wide open is Freeman, he's got it but they call him out of bounds, so the Golden Lions take over on offense. Here's Jackson up the middle, and Logan Tyler with a huge hit. I don't know, excuse me, that was Bryce King. That is the strong safety, his seventh tackle of the season. Jackson fumbles the football again. That was Logan Tyler forcing the fumble. What a hit for the sophomore transfer middle linebacker. Oh my goodness. They need to stop giving Jackson the ball if they know it's good for him. That's his second fumble on the past two drives. Third down and five, Slaughter, play action. And that was almost picked off again. It was hard to see where the pass even went. And here is another punt deep down the field to Hagen. 
At around the 30-yard line, he's going to go up that left sideline once again, and he is untouched. He didn't have to make a move. Touchdown, Thunderbirds. Two punt returns for touchdowns here for the freshman corner, and that'll make it 21-0. Golden Lions looking for answers, but Logan Tyler forces and recovers a fumble. One, another huge hit. Was that Jackson again that fumbled it? Oh my goodness, it was. That is Jackson's third fumble of this quarter, I believe. Oh my. What a huge hit from Logan Tyler. Southern Utah settles for a field goal attempt. And that kick, oh my goodness. Just wide right. It slid right at the end there. And here's another massive hit from the sophomore off middle linebacker Logan Tyler. And he blows this play up too. But Jackson somehow squeezes forward for the first down. Golden Lions looking to get a drive going here, but Slaughter is sacked. That was Nolan, non-subscriber defensive end on the sack. Out the Golden Lions with a long way to go for a first down. This pass is picked off by Keith. The Thunderbirds are on a roll like butter. Oh my goodness gracious. They can do no wrong here today. Third down in inches, and Nicholas Hall has it. He's got a lot of space, and he's all the way inside the 10-yard line. First and goal. That'll get him up to 200 yards rushing on the season. He's got 60 here today. Gregory on the option pitches it back to McCutcheon. And McCutcheon jukes and finds the end zone. That is his first career touchdown run for Prince McCutcheon. The 6'4", 193-pound speedster at wide receiver. 28-0 Thunderbirds just pulling out all the stops here today. And Slaughter's going to fumble the football. Taylor's going to fumble the football. Two fumbles on one play. And Jackson, who has three fumbles in the half, <laughs> he recovers it. Oh, my goodness. Matthews gets a carry up the middle to start the second half. Matthews in the open field. Cameron Matthews to the house. Thunderbirds erupting right now. A huge storm is brewing here in Cedar City, Utah. Oh, my. What a spin move. Nice blocking downfield. I believe that was... Um, McCutcheon, or no, excuse me, that was Jaquan Freeman and Brandon Lee downfield blocking, springing Matthews free. 35 35-0. This game is looking like a huge blowout, and here's a nice pass out to Douglas. He's got the first down. Bryce King on the tackle. Third down and two. They keep giving it to Jackson. He dives forward and gets the first down. If I was their coach, I would have took him out a long time ago. Slaughter, deep shot right side, deflected away by Hagen, who has two touchdowns on punt returns today. And the Thunderbirds take back over. Here's Nicholas Hall on the option. Nice spin move. He fumbles the football, though. Recovered by Hatchell at the 36-yard line. And we're hearing some boo birds here right now, even though their team is up by 35 points. Jackson, another carry. Logan Tyler meets him in the hole, and he goes nowhere. They're down an eight. Slaughter to throw it right side. It's caught by Mayo. And Bryce King with a huge hit saves the touchdown. I believe that was Hagen out there in coverage. First and goal now. Mayo, the fullback, gets the carry. And Logan Tyler with another massive hit. He's all over the field today. I believe that's like his 10th tackle. And there's another one as he wrecks Michael Jackson once again. And there's a holding call. That'll make a second down at 14. Second and goal, excuse me, from the 14. Now third and goal from the 9. Slaughter, play action. Right side, it's caught by Jackson, but Logan Tyler tracks him down for no gain on the pass. So Arkansas Pine Bluff finally gets on the board with a field goal here in the third quarter. And the Thunderbirds just keep on trucking along. And here they go, Brandon Lee right up the middle, runs the man almost over, gets into Pine Bluff territory. And they're going to keep handing off the big fullback. Dukes a man out, picks up seven or eight more yards up that guy. 51 yards today on four carries. They give it off to him again, and he's got the first down. He only needed a couple inches. Get your fours up, folks. 35-3, Thunderbirds on top of the Golden Lions. And they just keep feeding the beast at fullback. Brandon Lee gets another first down. Second down and three. Nicholas Hall, right side. Can he find the end zone? Yes, he does. Untouched. Too easy. My goodness. That is his first career touchdown run, believe it or not. Well over 200 yards rushing. 
on the season, and here are the Golden Lions back on offense. Michael Jackson fumbles it. I think that's his fourth of the game. Logan Tyler scoops it up. There was a holding call, and Arkansas Pine Bluff has no idea what's happening. Today. They are just shell-shocked right now. My goodness gracious. Two fumbles recovered here for Logan Tyler. That one was forced by a non-subscriber defensive end. My goodness. Second down and 11 here for the Thunderbirds. Play action. Gregory to throw it. And he's still running around right side. Throws it up. It's picked off by Fields. So one of the worst plays we'll see here today from the Thunderbirds. Not a very good pass. It's 42-3. to And here's another massive hit from Logan Tyler. Wow. My goodness. What are they doing? Jackson again getting the carry still in the game somehow Emmanuel wise on the tackle He's got 67 yards here today. They should just keep feeding Mayo. He's been doing all right Here's Shaq the backup halfback and he's dropped by Logan Tyler I don't know how many tackles this guy has today, but it's a lot Fafita in at quarterback that pass hits the receiver in the back and now the Thunderbirds are back on offense Hall gets a carry he just had his first career touchdown run and he's got over 240 yards rushing on the season now. Second down and one from the 16-yard line. They go option. Brandon Lee up the middle. Stiff arms the safety. Brandon Lee's in the open field. Can he win the foot race? He's at the 30, the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. The big fullback. Bumbling, bumbling, and stumbling to the end zone. What a stiff arm. That was actually a linebacker, not a safety. Oh, my goodness gracious. What a play from the fullback. And that, that was just a huge touchdown run. It was at 84 yards. This game has been blown wide open. Logan Tyler, 18 tackles, one for loss, two forced fumbles, two fumbles recovered here today. And there's still time on the clock. Second down and one. The backup offense is in for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Here, Shaq with a nice carry. Gets the first down for the Golden Lions. And he gets up and starts talking. Down 46 points. I like it. Fafita hit as he throws. And it wouldn't be a Southern Utah video without C.J. Moreland getting beat for a touchdown. Pine Bluff finally gets in the end zone this game with their backups. C.J. Moreland, Emmanuel Wise just colliding. <laughs> Logan Tyler can't get there. Bryce King can't get there. And Thunderbirds are back on offense. Brandon Lee, another carry. Left side and gets the first down up to the 26-yard line. 158 yards here today. 107 after contact. That is the final 49-10. Thunderbirds roll to an easy win over the Golden Lions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the FCS Pick'em in the Discord server. There was 22 votes for Southern Utah, two for Arkansas Pine Bluff. Here are the winners. Tom Schaefer, Colin Northrup, Jay Balmer, Chris Numa, Willie Madden, Four Star Commander, Jason Stark, Noah Regeer, Daily Redding, Zoomer Speed, Tyler Chandler, Xavier Wilson, Seth Maddox, Emmanuel Wise, Alexander Connor, Zach Pryor, Kelvin Jasper Jr., Bryson Shields, Nick Hall, Jay Washington, Wyatt Geddes, and Eric Tavares. Huge game here for the Thunderbirds. They absolutely dismantled Arkansas Pine Bluff. And it was just over from the start. 158 yards for Brandon Lee, 101 yards for Hall. He gets his first group touchdown. Cameron Matthews, only two carries today, but 64 yards and a score. McCutcheon had a touchdown run. They didn't need a whole lot of yards passing at all. And they only had three completions, one to Crosby, one Foster, and one to McCutcheon for 30 yards. That'll give McCutcheon 107 yards receiving on four catches with one touchdown this season. Blocking Brandon Red four pancakes that'll give him six on the season with no sacks allowed still. Cutch him with two pancakes. Brandon Lee with a pancake to Quan Freeman. And let's take a look at the defense. Logan Tyler, one of the best performances on, on defense that we've seen in this entire series. 18 tackles. He was everywhere. Bryce King also had seven. Jericho Stevens had six. CJ Moreland was four, and he gave up a touchdown. Emmanuel lies with three tackles. And 
Hagen had a tackle. He also had two punt returns for scores. That is a non-subscriber player. A lot of tackles for a loss today. A couple sacks. Interception for Greg Keith. Non-subscriber linebacker. A bunch of deflections. And look at the force fumbles. Five. Three for Jericho Stevens. Two for Logan Tyler. He also recovered two. Emmanuel Wise recovered another one. Chris Webb, 0 for 1 field goals. That would have given the Thunderbirds a 50 burger here today. And here we are on kick returns and punt returns. Brian Hagen, freshman corner, 147 yards on punt returns today. Two touchdowns. Easy win here for the Thunderbirds. They coasted. Tyler, Hagen, Stevens, players of the game for the Thunderbirds. Hatchell, Jackson, and Fields for the Golden Lions. Our last game of week three is San Diego traveling to take on NC a t State. They're both 1-0 on the season. That should be a fun matchup, and I look forward to that one. Our next Thunderbirds football game will be in week five. They get a week four bye week, and that game will be against Idaho State. I'll see you guys tomorrow night with San Diego at North Carolina a t State. Until then, take it easy, guys.